Okay, let's move on to the wands. Uh, and let's start, as we always do, with um, the ones, the aces. Now, the wands always signify things having to do with movement of energy, with opportunities, but it really talks about the flow of energy in our space. Uh, but often, when the ace of wands comes into the reading, uh, the spread, it could be a job offer, but sometimes it's more importantly uh, a new idea or information coming in that is critical to you in a very positive way. Uh, sometimes it can come from a person or it just indicates a new start at the energy, a brand new flow of energy in your life. And of course, the other cards in the spread will indicate the nature of that or the question that the person asks or that you're asking. The Two of Wands talks about um, not exactly new beginnings, but sort of like you're on your new path. Let's say, let's use the analogy of maybe you started a new job and there's two wands, the energy is flowing, but you haven't had enough time to really get everything deeply, uh, you know, things going deeply and, you know, stacking up a lot of wins, right? And, but the future's bright. This is a positive card. And if you see the two of wands with the emperor or the empress, these are, this really positive for timing of imminent. There's an imminent uh, connotation to it that, quickly something's going to be taking shape and it's almost always a job offer or professional progress in some way. The three of wands continues on the same th uh, thread with the two of wands where again we're looking out at the future, we're planning, we're moving energy, we're in the right direction, you know, and this card next to say like the wheel of fortune will talk about sort of really staying on path and really keeping a good attitude because sometimes we're in a three position, we're sort of midstream. Uh, and so we might start to question ourselves if that some that that's a far reach on this card, but sometimes, but it's a positive card. And next to the emperor or the empress, it can also uh, indicate a new opportunity coming in. This is a really positive card, the four of pinnacle, four of wands, excuse me, um, great, great energy. Um, a lot of times, as, as you see in this, that someone's getting married. It is indication of wedding, marriage, fruitful events. So um, again, how you interpret it will be based upon the person's question. But um, if I were to read this blindly with no questions in a spread, I would assume someone's on their way to marriage in a relationship. And here we go with the five again, the scattered energies where there's just too much going on. There's like, we, we just can't figure our way out of it. It's like we're fighting ourselves with all these different ideas and energies going and we're, we're sort of like in the middle of it, whether that's a conflict with a person or if it's a conflict with ourselves. And we're, we, we're in the middle of it. The energies are kind of all over the place. The Six of Wands is another really positive card in the deck. This often signals opportunities. So if you're job hunting, you can expect a lot of feedback from your resume. If you're online dating, you can expect a lot of feedback from your profile. It just talks about opportunities, movement of energy, and it's it's a positive card. But yeah, th things are going to be going in your direction here. It's good good times, good stuff. And by the way, sixes. I'm not sure if I said this with this uh, with the cups, but sixes. If there's multiple sixes in a spread, that always talks about restoration of balance. It uh, doesn't matter which sixes they are, but this is a very positive one. If you were to see it with the six of cup or pentacles or even the swords, it really assures us that balance is going to be restored very soon. The seven of wands talks about a lot of energy. There's an investment here in whatever it is you're doing. You're working hard towards something and, you know, you're fighting the good fight, uh, but it's a positive card. It speaks to the strength of the individual. It speaks to the quality of the project or the situation they're in. And it really encourages the person getting the reading to press forward with whatever they're doing, that they're going to be successful. They just got to keep fighting the good fight. This is a very positive communication card and also for timing, it indicates acceleration of events. So let's say someone's been waiting to hear on a job or from a, you know, a potential love interest, 
I, they're probably going to hear within two, three days if you see this card in the spread. But it talks about acceleration of uh, information, of offers, and it does have a slight hint to romantic stuff to it, but it can also be business related. Uh, it also can indicate some type of travel, uh, short, short term travel, not long term travel. The Knight of Wands is um, a great card in many respects. It really speaks to the person who pulls this card that they have really been working it. They've been doing a lot of the hard work to uh, expand their circumstance, whether it's professional or personal. And of course, in this image, we see the person with the, the bandage on their head. So, you know, when we're expanding our lives, we take a few lumps here and there. But this person, again, they're still standing and they have one more staff in their hand. They're they're not backing down. They're not worried. They're pressing forward despite their bumps and bruises. So it speaks to the character of the person, but really uh, forebodes um, uh, positivity for what's next. Now, the Ten of Wands, when this comes up, this is a tough card to see because it really signals uh, too, you know, oppression. It really signals too much burden. There's too much. Uh, and even in the picture, you see the guy's holding all these staffs and his head is down. He's needing his head to hold it up. So the good news about a 10 is that we're at the end, <laughs> that you're, you just have to kind of get through this moment and things will shift over momentarily. Um, but this is a tough card to see. It lets you know that the person you're having a reading with um, is, is in a moment. Um, one of the best um, timing cards though is this paired with the star. If you see the 10 of wands paired with the star, um, whatever you're going through, you're gonna it's gonna change within 24, 36 hours. So that that's something you can sometimes tell your client if they're in the thick of it. Uh, again, with the court cards, it can be a person but it can also be the energies of. So if I was to see the King of Wands and someone spread, I would I would assume this has uh, this is a boss or an uncle or um, or it could be a love interest as well, depending upon the person's age. Um, but it is someone who um, could be helpful or is uh, important to the person in some way in their life. Uh, the Knight of Wands. Uh, the Knights always have a little bit different. Uh, inter information than the kings and queens um, because the knights always have activity attached to them. The king and queens don't tend to have activity. They tend to represent someone or something. So with the knight of wands, it almost always indicates change of residence or travel over water. And if it's not either one of those, then it indicates someone or something coming into your life rapidly and making a big impact as a change coming. But most of the time it's relocation and travel, uh, significant travel. And the travel is probably related to your career, doesn't have to be, but it's a significant change. Uh, if it's a person, it just means someone, you know, uh, who is lighthearted in nature, energetic and means you well. The Page of Wands, again, this is going to be notices, messages. Uh, it can be a person, a young child, but most of the time it's some type of message. If I were to see this in someone's spread, I would assume it, uh, depending upon their question, but they hadn't, I, they hadn't told me their question, I would assume it had something to do with a job interest or information about some other area of their life. And the Queen of Wands, this represents, again, this is a friendly person. This is a person who's friendly to you. It doesn't tend to feel like business to me, but it could be perhaps a coworker or a friend or, or someone who has your best interest energetically. Again, it, it would be a positive, uh, again, depending upon the other cards in the spread. All right, so now we're going to move on to the Pentacles. Pentacles. 